Good afternoon, everybody. It's David Perlmutter from Quantum Listing, and welcome to our Wednesday webinar, How to Use Quantum Listing for Commercial Real Estate Networking. We're actually going to cover a couple of things related to commercial real estate networking, uh, sort of, uh, and I divide it between off-site commercial real estate networking and how we can help with that, and on-site commercial real estate networking. And we'll, here is our agenda for today. Uh, why is social media worth the effort? Uh, and then we'll talk about sharing listings to social media. And then we'll dive into some of the social functions that we've built into quantum listing, including networks, groups, uh, following other members, using our chat feature and doing network email blasts and also how you can do your own email blasts and uh, we'll give live demos of uh, these features as we go and we'll save a little time at the end for uh, questions and answers i'm going to uh, set a timer on my watch so that i remember not to run too long okay here we go so uh, why is social media worth it is the first uh, topic and the answer is uh, similar to when uh, I believe it was Willie Loman not, uh, was asked uh, why did he rob banks and he said that's where the money is so why is social media worth it it's because that's where the the people are uh, LinkedIn and Twitter have hundreds of millions of users they spend uh, you know a lot of time every week on those platforms facebook and instagram have a billion plus users uh, who are equally active in uh, with their social media accounts so and as you know i'm 59 i don't necessarily live on instagram the way my uh, 22 year old daughter might uh, however i do check in occasionally and uh, you know you never know where your next customer is going to come from. I'm a commercial real estate broker and have been since uh, 1986. Uh, and I wish I always knew where my next customer was coming from, but you know, that's why I put signs out uh, in front of my listings, why I'm on listing sites like Quantum Listing. It's why I send out email blasts uh, and why I share my listings to social media because they're all places where your next customer might be coming from. Uh, the other reason you should be on social media is that I know that like, for instance, when I have a new customer, one of the first things I typically do, especially if it's somebody who's coming from a sign call or uh, from one of the listing sites, I'm going to Google them. I'm going to see you know, what I can find out about them. And guess what? If I'm doing that for potential customers, you can bet that those potential customers are doing the same thing about me. So to the extent that they can see that I have a presence on LinkedIn, for instance, they can more or less see my resume and uh, see what types of contacts I have, and they can determine whether or not they think I'm the right type of commercial real estate broker for them. Uh, and if people are coming to your social media sites like LinkedIn to see if they want to work with you, why not give them an opportunity to see your listings uh, while they're there? Uh, so you know, not only is it good for them to potentially buy or lease one of your listings, but it might be something that helps convince them to list their properties with you because they see that you are you know, reaching out to people in all sorts of interesting and creative ways. So that is, uh, in a nutshell, why I think it's really important to be on social media with your listings and to network on social media. Uh, another thing with social media is that it's a great way to network with people and and you know have a relationship, particularly now. Uh, you know, in the last year and a half with COVID where people are less likely to go 
to networking lunches or dinners or uh, you know, golf outings and things like that, uh, you know, there doesn't change the fact that people are social animals and they want to connect with other people. So it really makes a lot of sense to you know, be able to put yourself out there and maybe make those connections. And, you know, I know like on LinkedIn, one of the things that, you know, maybe it's, you know, my problem, but, you know, but one of my pet peeves is that, you know, somebody connects with me and then instantly they're trying to sell me something. That is not something I particularly uh, like about LinkedIn. But if you let a relationship develop a little more organically, uh, then you, know, you have a better shot of actually establishing some sort of relationship with uh, those people. So uh, that is something to think about. Uh, uh, one of the things you know, that I've heard people say is that having you know, a social media presence uh, today is kind of like what it was to have a website you know, 10 or 15 years ago. It's just another uh, you know, thing that shows that you're you know, substantial and, and you're real and you know what you're doing. And you have to sort of be willing to meet your potential customers where they are today. So for all those reasons, I think it's really well worth uh, putting some effort into social media. Um, the other thing about social media is you can't just like set up an account and forget it. If somebody goes to your Twitter feed and they see that the last time you posted something on Twitter was 2019, uh, you know, it doesn't really help your case. Uh, so, you know, you should, if, and if you don't have time to do, be on lots of social media, that's fine. Pick the one that best suits you and the way that you work and work that channel. And so you don't have to be everywhere and try to be all things to all people. You, you know, you, there's a good chance you specialize in your work in a particular neighborhood or city or a certain asset class. Uh, and that's because it, you know, you feel like you have expertise and credibility in that. And picking the right social media account for yourself or in you know, a platform for yourself is similar where, you know, if fit, do what fits, you know, with your personality and, and your style, uh, you know, don't try to be everything to everybody uh, because that generally is not as good a, a strategy. Uh, one thing I will tell you is that uh, when, and we're going to show you how to use quantum listing to help you with your social media. Uh, that's going to be one of the really important things that we show you. And uh, when you do post from quantum listing to your social media, please tag us. Uh, and you know, that's like putting at quantum listing in the uh, text that you're writing. And we'll get a notification. And when we see that, we will amplify that by uh, sharing it on our social media as well. Uh, so uh, let's keep going right now. So uh, sharing your uh, profile to social media is pretty easy. One of the things uh, we wanted to really make sure is that you know, we want to sort of enable our, our members to be able to do this. So uh, you can see right here, this little uh, icon, it's three dots with two lines, and that is a sh what's called the sharing icon. And when you click that, these options open up. Uh, I'm going to, hold on, sorry about that. Uh, oops, there we go. There we go. All right, so you can see this here on the website. Uh, I just clicked on that, it opens up, and now I can decide if I want to share my profile to Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter, uh, the other icons here, of course, email, and we'll show you that. And this is uh, the iframe 
icon. So this allows you to put your profile onto your website or a blog if you have one and share your listings uh, to your website or your blog. And that's included with your quantum listing membership. Uh, so there's no extra fee for that. So it's a great way to get all of your listings visible uh, on your social media channels as well. Uh, and if you don't, uh, say you're active in a social media platform that's not LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter, and you want to share it to, uh, that, just click this little icon down here, the copy profile link, and you'll be able to, and you get a little feedback here. It says the profile link is copied. And then when you go to that other social media, you can paste that in there and you'll have a link to your quantum listing profile and people can see all your listings. Uh, so also while we're here and talking about social media, uh, when you do add your quantum listing profile, uh, we recommend that you add your logo uh, and any business social media that you have. So if you have you know, a personal Facebook page, uh, you certainly you certainly can link to that, but you're probably better off having, and it doesn't cost extra, a Facebook page for your business. And that way you can put all your listings on there and any updates that you want to share with potential followers on your Facebook page. So uh, anyway, so when people come to your quantum listing profile and a big portion of our traffic is people Googling our members and seeing on that first page of the Google results uh, uh, their quantum listing profile. They'll click on it, and the more complete and well uh, your profile is, the more people can find out about you and decide whether or not you're somebody who they would like to do business with. So I've added a my YouTube channel for Promoter Properties, my brokerage business, uh, LinkedIn, my Facebook page for Promoter Properties, and the Twitter account here. So uh, if I want to share my profile to LinkedIn, I'm gonna click the sharing icon, and then I am going to click LinkedIn, and uh, you see up here my logo, and uh, company name is up there and to share it in a post I can then click share in a post down at the bottom left and now I'm going to write have a look at promoter properties listings and I'm going to add uh, hashtags here Quant um, uh, uh, LinkedIn has made it very easy to add hashtags. Sometimes they'll, based on what you uh, type up here, they'll suggest hashtags, but I'm going to just write hashtag commercial real estate uh, and hashtag commercial listings and hope that this will get my uh, post noticed by more. Uh, if I were not doing a webinar, I would make it a little more uh, detailed than that and then to see the post you click on view the post you can see this is what it looks like uh, maybe I'll see if I can make my screen a little bigger there and uh, if people click on the link here it's going to take them back to my quantum listing profile page and they can see all my listings so that is uh, the first thing now with uh, so not only can you share all of your listings via your profile you can share an individual listing as well so to do that you would click on the listing then click on the sharing icon which is in this case is a red dot with that same uh, three little dots and two lines connecting them and you have those options of sharing it to LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter, or email. And then if you wanted to advertise your listing on the Google Display Network, uh, 
you can click that. There is an additional fee each time you advertise something on the Google Display Network. Uh, and it's either $25, $50, or $100, depending on how long you want that ad to run. So, uh, you know, this is like a very effortless way to, uh, you know, have some presence on social media. Uh, I would say that if you are going to try to, you know, build your social media following, uh, you know, don't just post your listings and nothing else. Uh, you know, when you see an interesting article, whether it's about the community where one of your listings or some of your listings are, or a trend in commercial real estate, add other content uh, so that you're not just selling, that, you know, you're engaging people rather than just, you know, beating them over the head with, here are my listings. Uh, you want to have you know, people feel like you're an expert and you're interesting and you're not just trying to sell them uh you know we all get calls from uh you know not necessarily real estate calls but you know every day from people who just automatically launch into some sales script uh nobody likes to be sold all the time uh you know it's one thing when you walk into a store and you want help getting something uh but to have a nonstop stream of people trying to sell you something uh, is not necessarily the best way to engage uh, a public. So that is really what I wanted to talk about um, for uh, how to sort of engage with social media offsite. Uh, there is one more thing uh, which uh, and it can help you, in fact, in that second. And a uh, thing that I talked about where you're not just selling your stuff all the time, you're posting content that is interesting. Uh, we have these weekly uh, blog posts on our website and uh, they're available at the top by clicking on blog. And if you see one that you like, once again, you would just click on the blog post, then click on the sharing icon, and then you have the opportunity to share any of that content to your social media that way. So, uh, you know, that's, you know, a way to do that. Uh, there are services uh, like uh, Buffer or My Social where if you really just don't want to constantly be thinking about creating social media posts, you can, you know, a few days a month, schedule a bunch of posts to go out at times you specify, and it looks like you're more active uh, on your social media than you are, it gets the point across uh, that you know, you've got this content, you know what you're talking about, uh, but you don't necessarily have to spend uh, a lot of time every day doing that. You know, some companies have social media professionals working for them, you know, the JLLs and Cushmans and CBREs of the world, but if you're a boutique firm like uh, Promoter Properties, uh, you know, there's a good chance that you're the one who's doing all that work yourself. So it does make things a little bit easier if, on yourself if you're doing that. All right, so then Quantum Listing uh, has made an effort to add you know, build in various social features within the site so that you can do some networking uh, with fellow quantum listing members. So here is my profile page. And on the left-hand side is this sidebar menu. And there are three uh, places here where you can sort of do a little bit of social networking within the quantum listing community. Uh, so one, th you see this one social, which is followers, uh, following, and stream are the three uh, menu options here. Followers are the people who are following you. Uh, following is who you are following, and the stream shows the listings of the people that you are following. So when you are on Quantum Listing, 
Uh, and it could be, you can use your networks or groups uh, to find people to follow, or you can also search uh, here. Not only can you search for properties, but you can search for quantum listing users. So I see, uh, uh, so I'm going to search for a user and let's see if I can find somebody. Um, Actually, Ebony Saunders has participated in a lot of our webinars, and I don't. She doesn't have any listings right now, but uh, I'm going to follow her, and sometime in the future she might have listings. And if you ch change your mind, you can just uh, unfollow somebody as well. Now, when you do follow people, uh, when you go back to your profile page, uh, you'll notice that there's this little bell up here and when there are new people following you it will light up green uh this is sort of a notification bell which i'm sure you've seen on your other social media platforms and uh you know so you can see what is any uh notifications that you have up there uh all right so uh, next uh let's talk about the network. So when you join Quantum Listing, uh, we assign you to a network and a group based on your geographic area. And you can ask to be assigned to other networks. And the way we generally determine which network or group to assign you to is if you have listings, we'll see what states the listings are in. If you don't have listings, we'll do it based on the area code of your phone number that you add on your account. Um, but now most people only have cell phones and if they move from one state to another, uh, they're not necessarily changing their cell phone number. So sometimes we'll get that wrong. And to the extent we do or the, that you wanna participate in multiple uh, state groups or networks, uh, you can let us know that you wanna join another network and the groups you can actually join them yourself. Um, groups are a little more self-service in lots of ways in that you can start your own group by yourself. It could be if you're a broker in Atlanta and you want to have a group with your colleagues in Atlanta and you, know, you can use the quantum listing chat function. Uh, you can, you know, that's a great way to, you know, sort of have like a little, you know, private Group and then, you know, this way it doesn't get stuck in with your messages on your cell phone. Uh, you know, it really sort of keeps it a little bit separate and distinct. Uh, so that, you know, it's kind of a fun way to engage with other quantum listing members and, and your colleagues. Uh, and if you do have a chat message, uh, you, this uh, icon here for the chat menu will light up green, and then you just click on it. And if you had a chat message waiting for you in uh, any of these different types of chats, uh, that would light up green as well and you'd know where to go and look for uh, that. Uh, the, uh, let's stick with the networks for a moment. So when you join a network, uh, you have access to all the listings in that particular network. I'm a member of several different networks here, so I have over 11,000. Uh, so let's maybe look at a more manageable subset, which is Westchester County, New York, where my office was until recently. And then, uh, so instead of having, uh, you know, thousands and thousands of listings, I have hundreds of listings. And you know, that can still be a lot to uh, get through. So you can then sort by uh, uh, asset type and transaction type. So if I wanted to look in my network and see uh, what, if there's uh, oh, gonna hit return. Uh, what's for sale, uh, then you can filter for that. And it becomes you know, a more manageable number as well. And then you can uh, sort the listings by the size or the price as well. So, you know, nice way to do it. And then uh, also one other caveat about networks, if you know the uh, geography of 
uh, Westchester County, you may have noticed that uh, there are other cities that are not in Westchester included here. And that's because when you join a network or a group, your listings go with you. So if you just wanted to uh, only see the listings in Westchester, you could also uh, filter by location. So that way you're, you know, 100% only seeing the things that are in that particular market. And that is, uh, you know, uh, makes things a little bit easier. So uh, networks and, all right. So one thing you'll notice uh, is that a lot of people have these little icons here. And if you click on one of them, you can then go see their listings and then you can decide if you want to follow or unfollow them. And if you want to send a chat message, uh, you can just click on that and then start uh, typing there. And actually I had lunch today in one of uh, Joan Simon's listings at, in uh, uh, this shopping center in Yorktown Heights. And she had a lot of vacancies there. So I uh, give Joan a call and see if she uh, looks going on at that shopping center. Um, all right, so let's go back to the uh, networks on final listing. Uh, all right. So network listings, we should, and network news is going to show you the latest changes uh, in your network. So it could be when somebody has edited a listing, added new listings, new members have joined. So you check this, uh, you know, fairly regularly. You can, you know, find out what has uh, happened, and you, know, you can drill down to a particular listing so that you can see exactly what happened. So here is a new listing that was added by uh, uh, Robert Hammond. And so uh, this happens to be one that's in Florida, not in Westchester, but uh, it's a good way to stay on top of things that are happening in your market. Uh, and the, in addition uh, to networks, we have groups. And originally when we started, uh, groups. They were state have uh, state wants groups, uh, and we were really just uh, focusing on uh, what you wanted to, what you were looking for that you might want to crowdsource. And then we really decided that we were kind of missing an opportunity, and we really switched them to have and wants groups so that you can use them for marketing your listings and. The great way to do that is with the chat. So if you have a listing, uh, in fact, here, let's, uh, I have a new listing. So let me go back to my listings and copy. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to copy. I want to open that. Sorry. And uh, I better, hold on. I guess it's, uh, circling here. Um, all right, so here's a new listing. It's a sublease. Uh, I did a lease deal with this tenant, and I want to let people know that uh, I have this 2,800 square foot sublease uh, that will be available. So I'm going to copy the URL up there, and I'm going to go to my Haps and Wants group. This is in Stanford, Connecticut. So I'm going to go to the Connecticut Haps and Wants group. I'm going to post uh, that there. So I'm going to my groups. And again, you, I have joined several groups, uh, but you can, uh, you probably, although you're welcome to join as many groups as you want, you, uh, you probably won't be in as many. So I'm going to click on that and say, uh, new sublease listing. In Stanford, have a look. And then what's going to happen is once I uh, post that, uh, there's this becomes a clickable hyperlink that I added. So people will be able to go to that particular listing. At the end of the day, if there are 
any new chat messages in a group that all the members of the group are going to get a new uh, notification by email so they'll know to go to the group and look and see what is there. So that helps uh, you there. And I, you know, I really, it's unfortunately uh, not as well utilized a feature and that's you know, probably on us for not uh, hammering it uh, as much as we can, but it really is a great way to do it because you know, it takes, as you saw, you know, very little time and you know, these state groups you know, have you know, between dozens and thousands of people in them and you don't have to figure out how to send an email blast or anything, you can just send it. And speaking of email blasts, um, that is another way that you can use quantum listing to share your stuff. If you're a premium member of quantum listing, we will send at your request a email blast to your state network on your behalf. You can buy additional email blast packages from us if you want, uh, but you can also send out an email to your own proprietary list by clicking the sharing icon. You can do it the same thing with either your profile or an individual listing. In this case, uh, you know, I can send it to you know, one person and uh, anyway, this is just, uh, I'm not going to write anything long here, but uh, then I just click send and the recipient will get an email uh, with a link uh, that they can click here uh, to go to quantum listing to your profile. So another thing that you can do is you can add a file. So I made a uh, file earlier today of the people who are participating in today's webinar. And I'm gonna say, have a look at my listings. Thanks for signing up for, oops, for our webinar. Here is an example of emailing a profile. Okay, and I'm going to click send. And uh, you'll be able to see in your inbox later, uh, or whenever you look at your email, uh, what that looks like. Um, all right, so we're going to try to bring this train in uh, on time, or almost on time at least. Uh, so we've talked about chat and haves and wants groups and sharing there and uh, sharing via email and how to share to social media. Uh, and there are other ways that uh, hopefully you can be social with quantum listing, and that is uh, by participating in webinars like this today. And then another way you can do it, if you like quantum listing and you would like to uh, uh, invite some of your friends to join, you can do that. There's this link on your profile page. You click on that, uh, and it will then open up a window that will allow you to do that. Uh, and you can, again, do it by CSV file, or Excel file. And that file, by the way, only contains a single column with email addresses. It's very uh, simple. It's not, you don't need first names, last names, phone numbers, just email addresses in a single column. And then, uh, you know, if you do invite people to join Quantum Listen, please let us know. And if they do uh, uh, join, we will be happy to uh, thank you with either some brand promotion or maybe an extra month or so on your account. Um, so there's lots of, uh, you know, we like to take care of the people that uh, help help us out. So, uh, you know, please do consider that. Uh, and I... Uh, you know, we, in addition to the webinars like this one today, occasionally we have uh, online haves and wants sessions. We'll typically do them by asset class. So 
uh, industrial for sale or land for sale. And those are nationwide events. We've also done uh, events with uh, commercial alliances of realtors in various states, uh, particularly helpful during COVID, uh, you know, when people weren't going to those in-person network uh, marketing sessions. So you know, just another way that you can use quantum listing to help uh, with your network. And if you're a officer in your own local, uh, whether it's, you know, county, state, or national service, uh, uh, you know, brokers alliance of some kind, and you would like us to facilitate one of these meetings uh, online, we would be delighted to do that. Uh, the people don't have to have their listings on quantum listing. Uh, it certainly helps if they do, but we can, one of the nice things about the online version of the haves and wants sessions is that uh, it makes it very much easier to show everybody the listings that you're talking about without having to print up uh, a lot of flyers. Uh, so it's really a great way to do that. And you know, if you combine that with the different, you know, with the chat function, you can message back and forth uh, as well from quantum listing. All right, so I am going to uh, pause now and ask you, uh, our kind uh, attendants, uh, attendees, uh, if you have any questions, you can unmute yourself or if you can put them in the chat uh, if you like, and we'd be happy to uh, answer any of those questions if you prefer. Uh, we'll be wrapping up the recording of the webinar in a moment, and then uh, we can answer your questions uh, offline as well. Uh, 